Welcome to this video. This is a short update to part seven. Um, as I immediately spotted a couple of anomalies as soon as I'd published the previous video. The first one that I'd noticed was that on the address, the combined address, um, I got a spurious extra comma. And I think I know the reason for that. In fact, I do know the reason for that, and I'll be showing you how that occurs and how we can get rid of it. And just on a very minor point, uh, we'd failed to spot, or I'd failed to spot, that I'd got the word rates uh, when I was copying from tax rates to supplier, so we'll get rid of that as well. This is how it should look. Notice that the slide I showed at the very beginning of the previous video had four High Street comma, Salisbury comma, and then the postcode. Let's see how we can sort that out. Right, this is the, the live system, and you'll see here we've got this additional comma in this address, in the combined address. If I add a new supplier, and I call it pens, and I'll give it the address five High Street Salisbury. And save it. And close. You notice there that I didn't add a third line of address. And lo and behold, we don't have the spurious comma. What I realized was that when we were doing the previous video, I'd entered something in address three and deleted it. And I can demonstrate that now. If I now put in something in there, doesn't matter what it is, save it. It's there, go back and edit again and delete it. Now we've got the extra comma. And the reason for this is that when the record is initially saved, if we don't enter one of the address lines, it's saved to the database as a null. On the other hand, if we edit a field and backspace over it, it is saved as an empty string. So the coalesce SQL statement that we were using for, for listing the, or c c producing the combined uh, address uses coalesce. Let me see if I can find that. Supplier list, if I modify that, you'll see here that we've got using the combined address is coalesce and it starts off comma space and then it, it's the right trim of supplier address. And if this is a null, it will return a null. Um, and that's that's the whole basis of this. If there's something there, even even an empty string, we'll end up with a comma and a space. Now, fortunately, there's a, uh, another SQL command called null if, and that compares to two expressions. And if the first expression is the same as the second expression, it returns a null. So if we compare, let's put in So that's saying if right trim supplier address is an empty space and we've got an empty space there, it will return uh, a null. Right, so just save you watching me type that over again. I'm going to close that and one I've prepared earlier. So this has got now all the the null if sin. If we execute that, that's now changed the stored procedure. If I refresh this, the commas disappear. 
So that's solved that particular problem. So the null if is the answer to our prayers there. If I close this and go back to the code, where are we? Supplier rates, we just need to get rid of rates on there. And the other small change I'll make is on the nav menu. We've got tax rates here, so let's have suppliers here. Save everything, run it again. Right, we've now got suppliers. It says, it says supplier up there. Perhaps we ought to have suppliers up there. But uh, that, you see, we've now solved the main problem, which was the extra commas. Thank you. And we'll be moving on to products next.